Hello, welcome again to the course on audio signal processing for music applications. Uh, this week we are talking about sound and music description. In the theory lectures uh, we talked about how to analyze sounds and obtain some features based on spectral analysis or on the things that uh, we have been talking all along uh, this course, but specifically to describe large collections of sounds. So the idea of obtaining features with which then you can measure the similarity between sounds or we can cluster sounds or we can classify sounds. And we uh, mentioned about Essentia, the software library uh, tool that uh, we're going to be using uh, in this uh, week uh, and also a little bit uh, next week. So let's uh, talk a little bit about Essentia and how to install it and how to use it in some uh, simple examples. Okay, so you can go to the website of Essentia, essentia.upf.edu and uh, in it you can find uh, a lot of the documentation, where to download it, things that have been done with Essentia and uh, other related information. So again, Essentia is an open source uh, C++ library that has been uh, developed thinking about audio analysis and audio uh, based music information retrieval so this idea of describing sounds and music and it's an open uh, software uh, project so it's uh, the license is uh, a Fero GPL and uh, it has quite a few things um, it has a whole bunch of algorithms and a whole bunch of uh, ways to extract features from sounds but also have a whole bunch of utilities that makes that uh, quite easy so it can uh, it can facilitate our programming of more complex ways of extracting these features so for example this is a block diagram of a series of uh, of algorithms that have been put together uh, using uh, these Essentia facilities and uh, therefore we can easily and efficiently generate these uh, type of descriptors of sounds. It uses Python quite a bit. In fact, uh, it has uh, a good support for Python for wrapping this uh, C++ library with Python. So we get the benefit of an efficient library, an efficient uh, C++ implementation, and at the same time, a quite uh, easy and convenient uh, Python framework that uh, can be used to uh, call the C++. So the first thing that uh, we should do is just go to the download page okay? and it's in GitHub so you can find the source code in GitHub and also there is some accompanying software that you might use which is this Gaia software. The, it supports uh, Debian and Ubuntu and also Mac OS X even though of course in this class we are going to use uh, the Ubuntu version and and, uh, and show examples uh, using Ubuntu. So if we go to uh, the Sentia uh, GitHub page, okay, so here is the, all the source code of uh, Sentia. That's a pretty large uh, piece of uh, software. Uh, so to install it, uh, the normal way when you want to really keep updated on these things and not have to reinstall it every time is to use this uh, clone uh, URL so we can uh, copy this uh, URL okay and now we go to the terminal we can go to a specific directory or uh, well I guess I have a TMP directory and I will clone uh, the repository into my machine so I will type git clone and I just put the HTTP address of the repository and uh, now we'll start copying everything into uh, my computer. Uh, that may take a little bit because uh, that's a quite a large uh, library. So maybe let's just uh, stop it because I already copied. So I will stop it here. And now I will go to the place where uh, I already copy this, uh, this uh, library. So it's, uh, I have here all the structure of uh, what I copy that is in, in GitHub. Okay, now in order to, we have to compile it and install it. So for that, uh, we can go uh, back to the Essentia uh, uh, website 
and within documentation there is uh, well explanations about uh, again what it is and then in uh, in user documentation there is a section on building and installing a Sentia. Okay, so once we have downloaded, well, there is uh, quite a few dependencies of uh, libraries that are used, uh, like the FFTW or uh, FFmpeg for uh, all the audio in and out, uh, for changing sampling rates, etc., etc. So uh, we have to um, install all these uh, dependencies. So we will uh, just uh, copy uh, this uh, complete line and we go there and we can just, uh, we are in our home uh, page and we just type sudo and we get all these uh, dependencies uh, that might be needed. So I have to type the password because uh, we're doing it as super user. Okay. And well, I had it installed already, so it just checks and it sees that everything is there. Okay. Then if I want to use uh, Python and I want to use this uh, wrapper uh, for Python, it, uh, it needs also some Python uh, packages. But in fact, I believe these packages were already installed because these are the ones that are used by the SMS tools, the NumPy, and uh, the development and uh, NumPy, but uh, we can just make sure that are there. So we just do sudo and uh, yes, everything is there. So no need to install anything else. Okay, let's continue. Well, there is the instructions for Mac OS X and um, now there is the instructions of, for compiling Essentia. Okay, and this is uh, what uh, we need now. So we have to first configure uh, all the, the structure of the, of the library in order to be compiled. So we are using this, uh, this uh, uh, WAF um, uh, compilation uh, tool. And again, we can uh, copy that. And we can go to our Essentia uh, directory that's here. Okay, that's where we have all our Sentia, and now we again uh, configure all what it needs to be configured. And it will check everything, it checks uh, if everything is there, and it says uh, yes, it's fine, it has been configured. And uh, now uh, we have to compile it, and to compile it we just have to type uh, the, this uh, compilation instruction. Okay, and this will go through all the directories, all what needs to be compiled, all the C files, and compile them as uh, as object files. Okay, so it's uh, it's building everything, and again, this may take uh, quite a bit because it's a pretty large uh, library. So uh, let's stop here because, uh, in fact, I already have. Uh, uh, compile all this, so let's uh, stop it and uh, we can uh, just uh, continue this, so we have uh, compiled it, then we need to install so that uh, all the Python uh, uh, bindings uh, can find uh, all the information and uh, we can, uh, well, there is some, uh, you can run some tests uh, or you can run the Python test uh, or you can generate the documentation, but the documentation is basically the same documentation that we have here. Okay, so uh, that's, uh, that's done and uh, then in, the, in this uh, directory, uh, again, we have everything compiled and we will have the, the, the directory where we have all the binaries and we have uh, everything else uh, already ready to be used. Now we can go uh, back to the documentation and start uh, looking at uh, some uh, documentation for actually using Essentia. So in here there is uh, some tutorials and uh, the one I recommend is this Python tutorial for beginners. So this is a, a tutorial that explains how to use uh, Python as a way to call all these Essentia uh, um, algorithms. So uh, if you go through that, uh, you will see uh, pieces of code that
that uh, you can basically copy and by following that you will be able to uh, do some analysis of uh, some sounds. But uh, let's uh, do our own example. So in this uh, text file I have uh, a piece of code that is basically the one uh, that I use in the, in the theory lecture um, that uh, I use to compute uh, the MFCCs. So in fact you, you can see this code exactly in the, in the plots uh, from the lectures. Um, but now let's uh, explain uh, what it is and so that uh, you can actually do it yourself. So it's a Python file that has the, the standard import uh, packages, the NumPy, the matplotlib, and the one that now is specific uh, for um, Essentia is uh, this one. So the, the Essentia has been compiled, so Python will be able to find this uh, package. We are not importing the whole Essentia, we are just importing one of the packages within Essentia, which is what we call the standard package. There is also another package which is uh, meant to be more efficient for streaming, is the streaming package, but we are not going to use that, uh, we're going to use the, this more standard package. Okay, and uh, then, uh, well, we have some initialization of some variables that will be used for the analysis. We have seen all that, so no need uh, to now to talk about that. The, the, the core of Essentia starts uh, now here, in which we are initializing the algorithms that we will be using. Um, Essentia is, uh, is uh, being written in C++, so it's uh, a collection of classes. Every algorithm is a class. And this is in the, in the sort of uh, object-oriented uh, approach. So in order to use an algorithm, we first have to instantiate the algorithm uh, and give it uh, a name. So here, we are instantiating the class spectrum. Okay, we instantiated with initial, initialization uh, the size of the FFT, the size n, which we have here declared as 1024. And now the variable spectrum has an instance of the spectrum. And we do the same thing for windowing. So there is an algorithm for windowing in Essentia, and we initialize it with a given window size and a given type and therefore window now is an instance of this uh, windowing algorithm. And again, the same thing for the MFCC algorithm. The MFCC algorithm can be initialized with different uh, parameters, and here we initialize with the number of coefficients that we will be using, and the size of the spectrum that will be uh, required. So these MFCCs are, uh, is the, now the instance of uh, this algorithm. And uh, one very, very useful um, set of tools from, uh, from Essentia is the way to read uh, audio files. In this case, we're using an algorithm called Monoloader. And this is an algorithm that accepts any type of uh, file format, or, or at least a, a wide variety of file formats. Um, and then by specifying uh, the sampling rate, it returns uh, a mono file, independently if it was a stereo or even more channels, it returns a mono file, it returns it with uh, the sampling rate that we specify, and it uh, returns it as, as a set of samples. So X is our uh, uh, array of samples of the input sound. Okay, then we initialize the output array or, uh, or matrix where we will store the, the coefficients and the core of the computation comes now. Okay, so we will be iterating over the sound, computing the spectrum, windowing and then computing the MFCCs. And in Essentia is amazingly compact. With these four lines we are able to do all that. So one of the core algorithms here is the frame generator. This is an algorithm that automatically um, uh, iterates over uh, the, the array X with a given frame size, with a given hop size, and also there are several parameters of how we actually uh, place uh, these uh, windows in the sound. And then this returns then frame, 
okay, frame will keep having the samples of that particular frame that uh, we have chosen. So now frame uh, will keep having the different values of our frame and therefore the, the, the window here now will accept the frame and then we can put it within the spectrum automatically. So okay, so the spectrum will be computed from the windowed frame signal. And MX spectrum returns just the magnitude spectrum. Um, and then uh, this is uh, what it is, uh, the, the positive magnitude spectrum of this particular frame. And now we can compute uh, the MFCCs. So uh, the MFCCs is uh, again now is, is this uh, object that accepts the array of magnitude values and it returns um, both the coefficients and also, in fact, it, look, it, it returns the bands of the, of the MFCCs if we want to use that. But for us, what we are interested in is in the coefficients. And since this is being computed at every frame, we need to append to an existing, to the initialize to the empty uh, array, and then it will keep appending and create a, a matrix for that. And then finally, uh, in order to be able to visualize with uh, plots or to be able to pass to something else, it's good to convert to, uh, to a NumPy array so that we can have all the NumPy possibilities to handle that. So now if we go to uh, the directory where this file is, and I believe is uh, in SMS Tools workspace. Okay, so here I have the mfcc.py. And I uh, start with uh, IPython, uh, with uh, PyLab, if I want to use uh, the, the matplotlib automatically. Okay. And uh, now I basically can uh, execute this file. So I can just uh, run an mfccs.py. And this uh, will have computed uh, the... the the MFCCs. So now if we type MFCCs, this is a, uh, this array, uh, well this matrix of all the coefficients at every frame throughout the sound. So in fact now if I if I do uh, P color mesh, uh, this uh, plotting uh, function of matplotlib and I give it the MFCCs, it will uh, show the coefficients that it has computed. So here uh, we see it horizontally uh, as uh, the coefficients, the 12 coefficients, uh, well with the zero, and then here is the, the frame uh, location. So this uh, blue line is the, the zeroth coefficient, then we have the first, etc, etc. So that's pretty good, pretty useful. And in order to understand how to call any of these uh, algorithms, what uh, we have to do is to go to the Essentia uh, documentation and go to the algorithm uh, section, that is the algorithm uh, reference. And in here, you will see all the algorithms that uh, Essentia has. Okay. Okay, so here we have, uh, as, uh, as I mentioned, we have two packages in uh, Essentia. One is the standard algorithm, the standard package, so that's the one we were using, and the other is the streaming one. So in here, in the standard one, we have all the algorithms that are currently implemented in Essentia. And for example, if we go to any of the ones that uh, we uh, were talking about, for example, the windowing one, we just go here and it gives me the input, output, uh, and the parameters that this function accepts. And also, very importantly, it gives us uh, a link to where uh, this algorithm comes from or what uh, we uh, use as the implementation uh, for, for, uh, for this, uh, this version of, uh, of this algorithm. And, of course, you can find all of them here. That's pretty good. 
Now let's go back uh, to the documentation and talk about uh, something else, something uh, uh, another feature of Essentia. We have been uh, talking about uh, the algorithms that are included in Essentia and that we can use and write uh, Python wrappers to call them. But uh, there is also the idea of uh, complete extractors, so um, sort of uh, extractors that have been uh, developed in a way that are uh, useful for some particular applications and that extract a whole bunch of things. So extract a whole bunch of these features and then we have a binary quite efficient uh, code that can be used. So, For example, these are some of the extractors that are already uh, available in Essentia and there is one that is in fact this uh, streaming extractor FreeSound. And this is uh, the, the extractor that uh, FreeSound uses to extract uh, low-level and other type of features from every single sound and that then is the core of this similarity engine that uh, we showed. And all these extractors are in this uh, build source examples directory of Essentia. So if we go to the file browser, uh, this is the Essentia directory and we go to build, we go to source, src, and examples. Okay, and here we have a whole bunch of extractors, in fact, more than the ones that are in the documentation. So these are, have been already compiled, and uh, we can just, um, just use them. So here there is a binary of the streaming extractor free sound, and we can just copy it. And if we go to uh, the directory where we work from, the SMS Tools workspace, I already, in fact, uh, have this uh, binary there, the streaming extractor free sound. And uh, I can just uh, then use it. I can just uh, um, copy it. Um, okay, and I can execute it. And I can give as input uh, the name of a sound. So here the sounds are in the sounds directories. So sounds and maybe let's take the sound of rain. Okay, rain.wav. Uh, maybe let's make it uh, so that uh, we see it better. And uh, then we put an output file. Let's just give it uh, the name of rain. Okay, now we execute it. And that's it. It went very quick. So it created two files. It created a JSON file and a YAML file that are uh, the files that include all the results of the analysis. So if we now go to the editor and open uh, this uh, file, for example, the JSON file, this is a particular format uh, that is uh, quite standard and uh, in which we have all what we have extracted from this uh, rain sound. And, uh, well, there is a lot of numbers, uh, but it's pretty good information for a lot of the things that uh, we'll be talking about. Even it attempted to extract the keys of this rain sound uh, throughout the duration of the, of the sound. But anyway, uh, we will be uh, talking uh, more about this in the next programming class of how to use uh, this. Okay, so now if we go back to the documentation, uh, here we see other extractors that are going to be quite useful and we'll be talking about. Uh, one is this uh, streaming extractor music. And uh, this will be very much uh, useful for analyzing pieces of music and we'll talk about that uh, next week. And in fact, uh, this is the one that Acoustic Brains, which is an initiative that uh, we started uh, recently, uses to uh, automatically extract descriptors from music. And that's uh, all I wanted to say, so let's uh, go back uh, here. So we uh, made an introduction to Essentia, and uh, we were able to uh, download and compile Essentia from uh, GitHub and that uh, in Linux is quite easy, it's quite straightforward. And uh, we talk uh, quite a few uh, things about the features of Essentia, what we can do. And uh, we then ended by talking about the extractor that FreeSound uses and that uh, uh, can be used to generate a whole bunch of uh, descriptors of all the sounds. 
and then we will be able to use uh, for quite a lot of things. So that was all. Um, uh, hopefully uh, you got a little bit of a, of a very introductory view to Essentia. That's a quite complex uh, library and it can be quite uh, complicated to use uh, in terms of all the features that it has, but it has a, an easy way in and uh, so we can start using it with uh, simple examples and we will see in the next uh, programming uh, lecture how powerful it is for doing some interesting sound description and describing collections of sounds. So thank you very much and I will see you next class. Bye-bye.